What if farm was in Cold War Zombies? Well, we've got the exfil right by the gate here, it seems. Starting off with a Cheekom. I thought, you know, let's give a Cheekom some love. I never really use this gun ever. Ammo crate right here for us to buy ammo for 250 points. Nice and OP. There's no Pack-a-Punch in this map, of course, so it's a little bit tragic because Pack-a-Punch is pretty great with, you know, the three versions. But we've got an Olympia here. Obviously, the weapon rarity will increase over time. Our knife is going to be a one hit until, like, round... God knows when, but look, you can see we have much more health. We can take many slaps. It's just, uh, oh, never mind. I was going to say, let's just buy Quick Revive, but no, got to wait. Quick Revive increases our health regen, just like in Cold War. I'm assuming there will be a random perk bottle, like, that we can buy all our perks from. Maybe in here, there's Speed Cola. Juggernog right there, of course. Mystery Box. Maybe I'm blind? Where would the perk bottle be? There should also be a salvage uh, station somewhere that we can use. They're going to be around the back here, maybe. No, am I blind? I, it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, well, here's the salvage station. No, never mind. This is... <laughs> There's a fake workbench. Oh, uh, bruh. Actually, thinking about it logically, the salvage station is probably going to be in this house somewhere, right? Here it is. I, th I knew it'd be around it somewhere. So yeah, we can upgrade that weapon. I can get armor as well. Looks like we can't get a Wonder Fizz machine, which is kind of sad. Oh, hello. Because, you know, it would be nice to uh, buy extra perks, but I suppose we can't all get what we want. Oh, I thought that was some max ammo, dude. That's the salvage that you can pick up. Not tucked away in a corner up here, is it? Maybe? Nah, it doesn't look like it. It's fine, though. We can just get our four regular perks. Oh, the goddamn fire zombies. Oh, <laughs> classic. Mystery box spin number one. We got a Remington. Oh. You know, really not a fan of this gun for obvious, obvious reasons. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, that's why I'm not a fan. The accuracy of this gun is tragic. Like, point blank. Somehow manages to miss. Oh, it's just a skill issue. And yet, really? I'm aiming right on them, dude. Carpenter. Carpenter will actually refresh our armor, of course, if you've seen any of the previous videos on this mod. Okay, we've got a double points right at the end of the round. Nice. So Exfil will become available after like round 10, I think, and then every five rounds after that. Since we don't have three packet punches to work towards, or like all perks either. Oh my, oh my God, how many shots did that take? Jesus. And the tragic thing is it doesn't even give points, does it? Nope. <laughs> uh, because of fucking Cold War point system. But I think what we'll do instead is we'll just go for like round 20 X fill. That's probably a good idea. Or just whenever we've completely maxed out everything and we get bored, I guess. Now, to be honest, I'm going to buy Speed Cola straight away. Yeah, because if we have a Remington, I want to be able to at least reload, you know? Using this gun is not the best. As the world's slowest reload, and it's not even very accurate or strong, so let's also go and buy the box again, see if we can get something decent. We've got an MP5 here, which is uncommon, but you know, eh, kind of meh. Oh, we've got a, a Barrett. Oh, just curse me with the bad box luck, dude. All right, one more spin. The cheek, the cheek on again. Oh, well, this is green this time. Jesus, dude. Game is not a fan of me right now. Oh, well, at least Speed Cola's nice. We'll try and save up for uh, for Jug as soon as possible then, I guess. But we really just need a gun. I mean, maybe I succumb to the uh, MP5, just buy it off the wall, you know? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, max ammo, I suppose I'll take it. Actually reloads our gun, which is nice. I think it does anyway. Oh, oh god, almost dying? Oh, shit. We're fine. I forgot, fire zombies. This is always what happens. You need to get quick revive on any transit map or any map with fire zombies because you, you'll slowly just like get creeped up on until you just lose so much health. Can't even afford Jug yet, it's 3,000. Ah! That's one thing I like about Cold War like Wonder Fizz is you can get every single perk, but the BO2 version anyway for this mod, the Wonder Fizz machine or like the perk bottle, it increases in price each time, but the perk is always still random. So... I don't know. It's nice being able to pick exactly what you want, but it's also a bit broken, isn't it? All right, give me my uh, give me my jug. There we go. We're getting a bit low on ammo. Ah, we have a nuke. Perfect. Exactly what I need right now. I wonder what we could get out the box that would be actually half decent. A Barrett again? Have I literally just got the Barrett and the Cheekom over and over? Like, what? come on, man, please. Are there multiple box spawns on farm? I don't think there are. Farm was honestly like, it's not a bad map. It's just, why did they not have a Pack-a-Punch machine? I understand the gimmick was Bus Depot has no perks or Pack-a-Punch. Farm has perks, and then Town has perks and Pack-a-Punch. But why not just give all of them perks and Pack-a-Punch, and then that way they're actually more fun to play? Because everyone just goes towards Town, right? Because why would you want to play one that doesn't have Pack-a-Punch machine? Farm is a really cool, like, setting for a Zombies map as well. But it's a bit of a shame. I'm going to have to use Ring of Fire because we're, uh... Right on the brink of death here. Use our Barrett. Pew! 
You just sniping in, in the fog and just unable to see shit. What I might actually do is, if we can do our command, r underscore fog zero, turns off all the fog, and look at this. Like, the map looks pretty damn good without the fog, right? Snipe from all the way over here. Oh, I missed. Snipe. Oh, I actually hit him. I hit his arm. Yeah, I don't know. The whole the, the fact that you can turn off the fog is pretty cool. Oh, God, here we go with the fucking fire zombies. My guns are so bad, dude. I'm going to have to drop down. Oh, okay, I'm fine. We need to buy armor in a second. Oh, uh, God. Run, run, run. I'm getting stuck. I'm fine. Let's buy quick revive. Give me it. There we go. Finally, the fire zombies aren't going to be too much of a nuisance anymore. Oh, this gun is so bad, dude. I'm just going to spam the barret and it's probably going to be fucking better, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's a rare MP5. I'm just going to buy it, dude. This is probably going to be our best gun. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, monkeys. Not bad. At least now we have a way of uh, distracting the zombies, I suppose. Oh, my fucking Remington disappeared. I was going to swap out the Barrett for it, but oh well. Okay, MP5. Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, God. Hi, fire zombies. How's it going? Oh, the exploding. I've got to drop. Okay, I'm full health again. Phew. Yeah, and if we do run out of ammo, we have ammo boxes around here. We can just go and yoink some. We need double tap. That's what we need. Getting all the perks, but not double tap, which is like the best one, but... Oh, God. I hate running through the barn. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, Barrett Gaming. Barrett Gaming. Okay, you the last one. I think you are. Give me the nuke. Um, we might be able to afford double tap. I think we can. Hey, let's go. Now we've got all four perks. And we're on round 10. Sweet. Okay, let's just buy ammo. Uh, 250. Oh, I don't have 250 points. Knife. There we go. Yoink. <laughs> easy, easy strats. If I could get a ray gun out of the box, that would be quite nice. I think you can get the Mark II on farm and bus depot, right? Probably. I th apparently, the drop chance is, like, ridiculously low, but it is possible. So, I mean, we have a little bit of hope, maybe. Oh, God, I'm actually going to have to use Ring of Fire here. Oh, I'm, like, out of ammo. Ugh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. X full available. Oh, cool. I won't take it, but I appreciate the thought. Let's go spin this box really quick. Come on, give me something half decent. We got a fucking 1911. That is not what I'd call half decent. I know it's purple, but a war machine. You are kidding me. Okay, give me give me the level one and two armor at least. That's something. Oh, I can't even spin the box. I can't even spin the box. Ah! Get me out, get me out. I'm just, just fucked. I'm just fucked. I'm just fucked. I got completely stuck there. I don't know why I didn't switch weapon, but even then, I think the explosions would have killed me. Oh, God. War machine. Go away, dude. I don't want you. Oh, fuckity fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. That was close. Oh, yeah. I have monkeys, of course. Q. Roby's bad boys. Jesus, man. Oh, my God. I don't have any ammo. Wait, this is... Oh, I forgot. I don't have any MP5 ammo. Just have to end the round with monkeys. Throw one more. Jesus Christ. Give me all the salvage at least. We can go buy Jug again now. I, I wasn't expecting farm to be actually kind of hard. Jesus. Oh, God. Hi, everyone. <sighs> Throw some grenades. All right, we got a crawler, and that's the end of the round pretty much. Let's spin the box once more. Come on. Give me something. Anything pretty, please? Something that would be useful. And... A How many times am I going to get the Barrett, dude? This game actually despises me. I mean, the MP5 isn't bad, but I don't even have Ring of Fire. And my God, I'm so screwed. I literally, I, I haven't had a better gun than an MP5. That's tragic. Like, the MP5 isn't even that good. It's just like a sort of decent gun. I can't get anything better than this. Oh, God. Almost getting trapped. Ah! We're fine. Thank God for Cold War movement system. Like, it feels really, really fast. All right, here we go. That's all the zombies. Pew, 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 Still barely able to kill any of them. I can get my quick revive back at least. Oh, I'm backing myself into a corner? This isn't really ideal, is it? All right. We can not afford speed cola. So I guess box it is. Please, for the love of God, can we get something that's just better than an MP5, man? Like a Galil, maybe? Oh, what? machine no you're kidding me i gotta drop down please don't make me lose that gun now please be useful please be good an mtar dude finally something a little bit decent took you long enough holy shit now what we're we gonna get we got a remington honestly is it better than the mp5 it's purple rarity i guess oh, we've run out of armor we actually need a carpenter then i don't think you can buy armor back like you can refresh it in um other games in cold war but Maybe you can in this. I don't know. Oh, God. Screw it. I guess we'll just ring a fire. Ah! 
We need double tap. That's what we need because our guns aren't exactly doing much. We've got a max ammo. Thank God. That's actually huge. We can get our monkeys back and we can now afford double tap, right? Yep, there we go. Boing, 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 boing. You know, this might sound crazy, but maybe the Olympia is decent. <laughs> Like, is it already a legendary Olympia? Let's see. It's rare. Okay, so when this gets to legendary, it might be pretty good. My thought process is that it has like one of the highest headshot ratios in the game. And if we get speed cola, you know, and the fact that we can actually upgrade the rarity of it without pack a punch, maybe it will be okay. Oh, here we go. Carpenter, give me the armor. Fucking needed that, that's for sure. Let's throw down a monkey just so we can reliably get some points here. Oh yeah, the MTAR with uh, double tap so much better. Oh god. Ooh, run, run, run through 50 zombies. Okay, we're fine. Even without the fog, I can still barely see what I'm doing. Oh my god. Nothing but stress, dude. Get me in it. All right, clump all the zombies together. Spray the MTAR. All right, we can afford speed cola now. I mean, we want to save up like 500 to get a purple rarity gun, but at the same time, maybe it's better to get the armor since we could just spin the box and get a better rarity weapon anyway. Like, imagine if Cold War had double tap as well as the rarities, though. It would be so broken. Like, that's why they did didn't add double tap because it would have just been overpowered as fuck. Like if I already have triple pack a punch, then put the weapon rarities on top of that and then double tap 2.0, like, like they could have added 1.0 though, I think. All it does is double the fire rate and it was kind of mediocre before BO2. So I don't see how it would have been that bad to, uh, to have in the game. Also speaking of which, uh, ammo, there we go. Oh, hi, hello, oh, hello zombies, fucking crap. Game's a heart attack right now. All right, we're close to being able to afford, uh, what's it called? The next rarity weapon. Let's go spin the box. Maybe we can get lucky, get something half decent. A hammer, actually really good. Let's go. A purple hammer as well. Finally, something kind of reliable. All right, let's just ring a fire. It means we don't have to reload as well, which is quite nice. And it's not like ammo is ever going to be an issue because it's 250 points to buy ammo. Like, and that's going to stay for the rest of the game because it only increases when you pack a punch your gun. So we're basically never going to be in trouble when it comes to ammo. Let's hit the box once more. What are we going to get? Another MP5. Oh, cool. Oh god, hi. I thought it was like the end of the round. Jesus, where'd you come from? A Galil? I'll take it. A purple Galil as well. So now we're literally just spinning for potential ray gun. And uh, we can get level 3 armor. Yoink. Okay, well our guns are... Pretty damn good now. I mean, you can't get much better than what we have right now. Let's camp at the back here. Will I regret this? Probably. Oh, yep. Zombie spawning in the ground. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to regret this, aren't I? Oh, hi. It's fine. I'm good. I'm escaping. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Monkey throw. All right. Just spray with the hammer. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that killed like most of them. Building up more and more salvage, which is good. Ah, we're gonna ring a fire back. Exactly what we need. This is so much more stressful than town, although town was not easy, which was very surprising because, you know, town, you'd think it'd be one of the easier maps to use Cold War systems on, unless I'm just bad. I mean, that's also an option. Buy full ammo for a gun. Ah, there we go. 250 points. Spin the box. Come on, ray gun. No, the parrot. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, box, dude. Six times I've got the barret now. Six goddamn times. I want to try something. If we ring a fire up there, I think it'll damage the ones below. So maybe it'll be more efficient to do this. Oh god, move, please. Right, here we go. Ring a fire. Yeah, see? This seems like a good spot. Except for the fucking fire zombies. That's not a good spot. I've got a max ammo, which is nice. I'd actually go grab that real quick. Ooh, and it's the kill. Nice. This round is basically sorted then. If we could just not die to the explosions. Oh yeah, we Gucci. What did we get? MTAR again? I wish it would say what rarity it is. You can't actually tell until you pick it up. I guess we could swap our Galil and then just pick it up again. Ah, oh, it's purple. Maybe camping here would be a better spot, actually. Since we could just drop off the ledge if we get in trouble. I mean, that makes more sense in my mind. We need to get the goddamn, what's it called, back. The, uh, the Ring of Fire. This hammer, it's not bad, but it's, mm, it's not the best, is it? Oh yeah, we have to drop down. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, almost trapped myself. Oh, I'm fine. Just one more round and we can exfil, dude. This game's a heart attack. Thank God for monkeys. Just look at this lack of damage. It's beautiful. Oh, here we go. Ring of fire, at least. Ah, let's use the galil a little bit. 
Ah, oh, we got another max ammo. Nice. There we go. Round done. Oh, we need another round to get X-Fill. I forgot. Do our very last spin of the box. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a ray gun. Maybe this is about time to shine. No, the shitty shotgun. <laughs> oh, Jesus. A little is, uh... I mean, any gun right now would be doing kind of mediocre, except for a ray gun mark too, so... Like, I have to drop down again. I mean, it's safer if I just train them up in a circle, I guess. I've been trying to go all the way down there for whatever reason. Yeah, like, training around in this sort of dip of the map is probably the best spot. And then we just spray in like this. We've killed... That was almost like a full horde with just one clip of the Galil. Damn. Okay. All these points and nothing to spend them on, dude, except the fucking box, which just gives me a Barret over and over again. Spray, 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 spray. Oh, we got a Ring of Fire again. Might as well use it. Ah! Oh god, the explosions. You the last few zombies, maybe? Because that would mean we can exfil. Yep, there we go. Exfil time, and that is farm done and dusted. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen where I play Origins, but in Cold War Zombies in Black Ops 2. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.